Hey everyone, uh, this is episode 3 of taking Haystein to India after having uh, held court I'm now ready to start a little bit of conquest and of course we are playing as a viking and Haystein is really amazing and raiding especially so just after that maybe we will not raid we will not raid as much as we would have wanted so maybe we will not go as far as northern India it would have been amazing because um, as we have access as we, we come from a Norse culture we have access to uh, these rivers so raiding would have been funnier but because Haystein is quite old maybe we'll not really have time to do that <laughs> something amazing that we could have done is raid pretty much the entirety of Burma in, in less than two years so yeah but for now uh, coming back to what I said at the beginning of last video well we will lost a lot of time to, to, uh, holding court but we will completely invade the kingdom of Tamilakam first that's really a good thing that we should do before Haystein dies bef because uh, our soldiers will die as well well for now just 200 soldiers anyway Haystein is also has a good military skill so as soon as he will die i'm not sure his son his son is decent i see he's average but i'm not sure he will be able to really have a large army like his father he will not be able to be as influential as his father and so being able to kind of uh, conquer the whole of Tamilakam, so the whole de jure of Tamilakam will really set us well in the roleplay. It will give us a lot of time because I do not intend on invading, for example, Sri Lanka or uh, the, the Rash Rashtrakuta kingdom before we access higher succession side. Like right now, we just we will we will not be able to go further than Confederate partition, and you know then. Uh, I really want to do roleplay so I might get quite a lot of children so if I end up conquering outside of the kingdom it will not be a whole other kingdom it will be a duchy just for the succession not to be fucked up so let's go for the Maldives already they are not able to defend themselves they don't have an alliance they're quite far from the coast but they're not that far so it, it will not be a long journey Let's just imagine that Haystein, after having initial contact with the Indian Ocean Pirates, before being able to completely uh, ally himself with them, he found out that there is a group of islands. Let's check their development. A group of islands that are quite below in uh, technological advancements, but he's quite interested in that in them he thinks that maybe they might have hidden riches and our old age hoistein maybe he won't as he is ambitious he just wants to conquer as much as he can but for now of course we are in debt <laughs> so we will need to wait a little bit now is the good time to raid let's check how many troops now these people have a lot of troops let's check these ones these people are perfect to raid i really think that they they're quite de developed here um, they're quite rich and wealthy if we just start raiding yeah even from here we'll be able to come back with enough money uh, to not be in debt so let's just start raiding raise all raiders it, it's it's quite a fun a fun thing to raid in the game you know what I want to bring destruction upon this country. I will just raid every single country that was not raided. That will weaken them. And if Haystein is uh, doesn't die before that, maybe we will be able to conquer this duchy. Oh, yeah, of course we will have to conquer that region. So, Tiruvannamalai. Oh my god, these names are possible, man. Yeah, we'll be able to conquer this county. And then... The objective with Haystein, of course, is this other duchy. The duchy of Tondai Nadu. Yeah. Let's 
<laughs> the Indian music in the background is just fun. <laughs> oh, they're they're coming at us. Now, yeah, with haste we'll be able to win this. Good. Um, envelopment. Yeah, that's a better one. As soon as we, as we get enough money and we conquer uh, the Maldives, I also want to uh, build Onegers to be able to be better at wars as well. Now, the settlement of Tiran Tiruvannamalai, <laughs> an important stronghold in Greater Tirunamalai, yeah, of course, <laughs> has fallen to my raiders. <coughs> We have the run of vast tracts of land and many of the quivering subjects and shining treasures of Nadalvar Tantivarvam, Tantivarnam, man, <laughs> to choose from. The troops stand ready, waiting my command to give them direction. Ah, uh, these Norse men, they're just ruthless. But of course, they will want more plunder. So yes, bring me bounteous plunder. And already this will give us quite a lot of money. It, we we can already go back home, but there's still riches left for us to plunder. No, I will just stay a little bit more time here. Maybe go as far as rape. Yeah, I don't think they can defend themselves from me. No, I don't even need to check the, how many troops they have. I know they won't be, have enough troops. Maybe 1,000. Even less. They have 800, 800 troops. So it will be easy peasy as soon as we finish this. Um, although we are losing quite a lot of soldiers and as soon as they come back they might be powerful enough to um, completely destroy our army. So I think we need to go back as soon as we raid this and this <laughs> we just go back. It will be far enough money. Good. Uh oh. I hope I won't die. <laughs> oh no. They won't be able to come at us. <laughs> they got us? Oh, we will win. But still, no. <laughs> that was close. That was a close one. I thought we would lose all of the money we got. Look, we even, we even right now we got more money than we can hold. <laughs> Probably some soldiers were, some some people were, some of the locals. Let, let's think, maybe one of some of the locals were paid on the way. Yeah. Anyway, we got out of depths, and as we can disband this, and as soon as we are ready, as soon as we get some troops back. As soon as we replenish enough, we will be able to conquer the Maldives. Now we can raise a rune stone, but I don't really want to waste my money right now. And Haystein is greedy. <laughs> He's a greedy motherfucker. <laughs> Romance, declaration of love. Oh, we got our first indoor noise, and that's how they look like. Now, that, 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 that's really what I imagined. Like, look, you can clearly see that they're kind of Indian. She's kind of Indian, but she got a really light um, hair, and she's dressed in a Norse way. Now, that's really what I imagined when I thought there will be indoor north. Now, let's imagine that this this woman here, she is the daughter of one of my special soldiers that I brought with me okay and somehow there were a lot of Norse people that followed me and they already started having children and this one was the child of uh, 
the very early ones even though <laughs> of course time does not pass as quickly as that yeah the the game might have showed it a little bit better maybe uh, by my son there will already be people that age that are already in donors but yeah it, it kind of fits my image of how an indoor nurse would look like and she wants me she wants to seduce me hmm let's see i'm walking the guard the gardens with some of the lords at court when i notice my guest akama approaching i step aside to let her pass but to my great surprise she blocks my path and kneels before me before I have time to properly process this turn of events, Akama begins to sing. Ah, I quickly recognize, and she is a poet. I quickly recognize the tune. It is a famous Indo Northern <laughs> love ballad, of course. The, the culture was created less than one year ago, and there's already famous ballads that they <laughs> were able to merge. <laughs> Maybe that could happen in real life, who knows? I click it, yeah, of course. Uh, the intense emotion of the song are mirrored in Akama's gaze, which is set on me. She does not look away for a single heartbeat. Now, I'm telling you right now, this is a gold digger. <laughs> There's no way a se an 18-year-old lowborn will be really generally attracted to a 70-year-old man unless, of course, he's a king. And that makes her a gold digger. You know what? I do think that our good old Haystein will want to take this beauty as a concubine. <laughs> However, she's second, so maybe that will further fuck up our succession. But let's put ourselves in Haystein's place. That's probably what you will do. So I will tell her, you flatter me, my lady. And as soon as that happens, I will recruit you to my court. 35. Anyway, I will recruit you to my court and make you my concubine now there's a high chance of having children but that's what our cool Haystan will do and look at that she's she's one of the first ones that has a good opinion of us also because maybe we have a, we are of the same culture let's see she's 15 <coughs> i will maybe uh, make her marry one of my knights at some point or one of the lords within my realm because why not oh so I expected her to get pregnant but instead it's her I don't know what you did here this time but I see you're not you're not joking around are you <laughs> now let's invade the Maldives we, 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 we got enough weapon we got enough soldiers replenished to be able to invade it without any problem or we could also over offer them vassalage I just realized that now something the Norse did do is yeah they tried to work with the people they conquered but does our Haystein really want to to peacefully englobe them like he knows he will get <coughs> more money out of it if he just goes and invade. And let's remember that Haystein, at the end of the day, his final objective is reaching Valhalla in battle. So maybe he just wants to do the battle. He he almost got into Valhalla when he uh, he met the armies of Aparachik Taravar <laughs> later um, some months ago with a smaller army and he still won he probably fought like a lion and maybe he, he still he's still aiming for that he's still aiming for valhalla so let's just go and declare war to this guy he's undefended and he's not gonna win at all let's go now we will probably set our adventure from the kotam of kolam <laughs> These names, man. <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> it will be an easy win. Most probably. Ah, 
And we already won. We captured him. Nice. So we now won the war against the Maldives and we are at our domain limit. We got six holdings, but I'm really not completely pleased with that for now. I I want to own this region here that is much more advanced than the Maldives and I will just end up giving the Maldives to my son here. We will inevitably end up creating the duchy of Chera, which he will just inherit from me because of this uh, further partition yeah are we ready though he does have some allies here and there this is his ally oh he got a big ally here can we can we declare war on him if we got a little bit more of money, we could hire some mercenaries. But for now, it's better to just sit back and wait until we are able to do that. Now, remember at the beginning of the first episode, I said that uh, it was better if we didn't do any roleplay. Or we wouldn't have been able to do any roleplay at all with his time. Well, I just realized right now that maybe we will be able to do some roleplay. And well, for now, it was mainly about the concubines that he got. <laughs> and it's ironic that I was thinking about it just be just before we got this event. So let's just read it out. My concubine, Akama, is once again absent from our chambers as, as night falls. She has been distant lately, lost in thought and rarely seen at court. I am not to her satisfaction. Am I not to her satisfaction? Is she simply busy? Or she could be warming someone else's bed. Akama, could you really be able to do that? Could you really betray me? Are you sure? Now I could find uh find out that she's she has been unfaithful. Or I could simply confront her. I think Heisai is the kind of guy that would just be like, oh I'm lost, so you know what? I don't I don't consider you I don't even consider you as a human being. I just want you for your body. But anyway, I I just want I want you to have I want to have you for myself, you know? I I don't want anyone else to share you with <laughs> that's weird. So he will just confront her and say, Do you have another Akama? If you do, then you're dead. And someone else she got angry. How can you even say such a thing, Haystein? I will never take a lover. Akama seems genuinely upset that she denies my accusations. Let's see, she's shy. She's trusting and she's stubborn. She doesn't really look like someone who will lie right now. Who will lie to me so openly. She, she does look like she got attached to me. And her shyness is not really showed here. She will be like, Oh come on, please, my m my master. <laughs> because you're, I know why Paradox just put man, but basically, technically, this should have been called master. And here, instead of uh, your woman, it should have been called your slave. But anyway, I understand that <laughs> um, Paradox want to be politically accurate, <laughs> politically correct, or something, some bullshit. <laughs> Yeah, you know why? I trust you because I think you you will trust me if, uh, if anything happens. Anyway, why, why would you even be jealous of me? I openly have three other women I share a bed with. And in real life, there will have been other 20. <laughs> so, oh, I could have played this with a mod that lets you have uh, up to 256 concubines. <laughs> that would have been really weird. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, maybe in order to limit uh, the number of children I have, not to fuck up on my succession, it's better to simply uh, have four. And yeah, I have little choice but to take her at that word. I think she's trusting, I think she's shy, she wouldn't really cheat on me right now. And she got pregnant. 
Now, could it, could it be that I am not the father? Maybe. I w really, who knows what she could do? I might not be the father right now. I really... I'm really not sure about this. I, I'm really not sure that I am the father. I just hope I am. <laughs> because if I'm not and that's a, a guy, a low son, then an outsider, a bastard, will be born within the Heistein family. And he will end up inheriting a big chunk of my realm while he's not actually my son. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Or maybe something that they didn't show us, something that the game didn't show us is that directly after I told her that, I was like, come here, woman. And I just, <laughs> and because she's fucking and we just, I just laid with her and we ended up having a child directly after. Although she's two months pregnant. She's two months pregnant and that thing happened like a week ago. When did I take her as a concubine? I can read her biography. She became a concubine of Heistein of Tamila Kam on the <coughs> on August the 17th and today is in January. It's January. Yeah, she became a concubine quite a lot of time ago. Yeah, I guess I guess she really is. <laughs> I will just put in her biography might have cheated <laughs> on her master. <laughs> <laughs> who knows who knows honestly yeah maybe wait how do I add it I have no idea how I add it you know what just exit maybe it's already, maybe it's already part of her biography <clears throat> or maybe the, the mod just had a little problem right now Oh, I'm, my heart aches right now by seeing how the Abbasids are doing horrib horribly. You know what? Next playthrough, I already decided the next playthrough, starting with Caliph Al-Mu'tas Al Ibn Al-Mutawakkir, I will take the Abbasids to their former glory. I will reconquer all of this and abolish the papacy. I will especially go back and take Al-Andalus. From our old rivals, the Umayyads. Uh, let, let, let's check their court. I, this is my favorite court in the whole game. This is definitely the, the best court, the most beautiful one. Right. This one. <clears throat> now, there is another mod called Africa. Uh, Africa Black Emperor Plus Africa or something. And it. When you take the decision of uniting Africa, it lets you create the holy african empire <laughs> and I, I think if the mod doesn't add a new um it doesn't add a new royal court spe specifically for that <clears throat> special empire that you could create then i will just use this to represent the holy african empire because this is just super op look at look at this man look at this they really the, the this comes from the um how do you call it? The community flavor pack mode. They really outdid themselves here. Look at this beauty. And it's really like that that it was. It was really like that. Now, wh what artifact is that? Uh, we need to go to a throne room. Togo. Uh, artifacts. This is the arm of Saint George. I thought they already had the... I had the Ark of the Covenant. Because, you know... Um, <clears throat> According to the Bible, the Ark of the Covenant is somewhere in Ethiopia. So maybe they might find it later in the game and just put it in the court. That would be really nice. <coughs> now, I didn't check the royal courts of other rulers. Let's see how they're doing. The, the royal court of the Basset. There are a lot of things. This is the cloak of the prophet. The spear of the prophet. This is the house banner. Yeah. Now, so, some something <laughs> again. There's so many things that I forget to do. I said I would change the coat of arms. So let's do it. Let's do it because this video, I, 
I think I will end it pretty quickly. More quick, it will be quicker than the last episode. So as soon as I, I will also change the house banner, not the dynasty banner, the house banner, in order to to maybe fit more with our new Indo Norse culture and our new environment. So first, customize the title. I will start from scratch, basically. Um, yeah, a red background. And let's put two things. Yeah. Two things, two symbols that will both symbolize India and the place we come from, the Norse. Uh, I got a mod that lets you add a, a ton, like really a, a lot, a lot of new um, emblems and coat of arms. But we'll just go to the faith and ha add the Norse <coughs> uh, eagle. Where is it? Maybe I'm blind right now. Oh yeah, it's here. M nah, maybe I, I prefer adding the the eagle right now it will be quite it will take quite a lot of time because it's quite far away here it is they even added a really good eagle now i prefer i prefer this eagle over the other <clears throat> now let's put it down uh the this part of the emblem to show that we came from here and up there we will put the an elephant to symbolize the fact that we the eagle came to the elephant so he's flying towards the elephant it really symbolizes and shows exactly what happened in this playthrough the other animals still animals uh, what were the elephants at the beginning i know i just spotted one here now this could be one but i think there are others that are cooler down there yeah they really added a lot <laughs> when we will do a future um re restoration of the roman empire I will use these, which are specifically Romans, Roman coat of arms. Now let's let's find out a better elephant. <coughs> now that's it. Maybe it's okay. Yeah, I'm quite satisfied with this elephant. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just found one that is better. So, um, the way it was actually. An Indian, Indian style elephant is, yeah, really just more like this. So, we'll just use this one. Yeah, I will make it bigger. Because it's, it's a fucking elephant. <laughs> I don't know why. It's, it's, it seems like it's smaller than the, the freaking eagle. And the colors, a white elephant is okay, or could, could we just add a group? Yeah, that's the color of an elephant, honestly. Maybe the other colors I will put. Now black. Yeah, that's much better. While on this side, the flying eagle, I think it's fine. I think it's okay. So... The kingdom of Tamil Akam. Let's just say the Indo Indo Tamil Indo Tamil kingdom. Indo yeah Indo Tamil Akam <laughs> Tamil Akam and uh, Indo Tamil. The map color, I think it's fine. So submit. That, that that's really nice. That's a really nice one. And I will also change the house, the house banner. You know, I will I will still leave this one. But instead, I will add just like oh yo the. Oh shit. <laughs> now let, let's just discard the changes. I will adjust the existing design. Can we really do much with it? Can we really do much with it? Shouldn't we just 
restart from the very beginning yeah it doesn't really let us do a lot from the existing design so let's just start from scratch but still with the same background now we could do a really nice one here <laughs> a really nice banner here you know what i have the intention of having I have the intention of um, putting a big elephant in the middle and then just four other eagles all around yeah maybe maybe that's a good one now which which one is it yeah this is the is the one on the side is this the one of the middle <laughs> no it's not oh come on what is this now this is the one in the middle so i will just go and add an elephant this one is better just in the middle like that and what is this so this is down there i'm just gonna add an eagle similar to oh this eagles these these eagle these this type of eagle is still norse i think and it will be better than the other styles that we found it's it will be better than this style honestly Maybe I will reposition the elephant a little bit better, more in the middle. I will make the eagles smaller. But I'll reposition the elephant in the middle and make it bigger. <laughs> Look at that. Now you stay here. This one here. This side make you smaller, exactly like the other one. I know this part of the video is quite boring, <laughs> but I really want to show you guys how I will do it. Perfect. Can we maybe change the motto? The motto? Uh, like Freya's prophecy is our sword. You know? I will just change it. <laughs> Krishna's prophecy is our sword. <laughs> and we're done. Now let's just go check our cultural court. Now, the, another cool thing is that you could just make it same grand and decent or just like that. But let's just put back to default. Remember, as soon as Haystein goes to Valhalla, <laughs> uh, our son will change. He will he will change the court style to the Indian. See, he's already our main advisor right now. Anyway. He's already our main advisor. I think that Haystein is ready to have more servants. He might be like, oh, there's there's many Hindu Norse right now. Look at look at this guy. He's just Jasper just in the middle. <laughs> He's Francois, but he became. Oh yeah, I, I remember from episode two. I I kind of coerced coerced him to become <laughs> Norse. Yeah, it's kind of nice. I don't know where the hell my wife is right now, <laughs> but she's not next to me. Still, my son and he and here is just here. He's is close. I think Ilavara San is the way you call. It's, it's it means prince in Tamil. 
it really shows the fact that we changed culture and the language is speaking is Tamil, but we still have our Norse uh, roots. Anyway, I'll, I will change the servant and put many servants. I think Haystein really likes that. And it, it doesn't cost a lot, it's just 0 0.2 gold. Uh, let's just unpause. Proof of devotion. Lord Haystein, my winsome stallion. The, look, look, this, this woman is really a gold digger. <laughs> <laughs> My concubine Akama is kneeling in the dust before me, right hand above her heart. My only desire is to bring you honor and happiness. Pray, tell me, how can I prove my love for you? You know what? I want a cat. I really like cats. I really, really like cats. If she brings me a cat, then I will be really happy. A dog? Come on. Come on. Nothing will fit you better than a dog. Nah. No. Little puppy revealing a little puppy. It jumps at me, stumbling over the edge at the basket in sheer excitement. Nah, I don't want a dog. This is not what I expected. <laughs> Go away with your dog. <laughs> the Hermit's Mummy A hermit has lived in the wilderness of Maldives for decades. Okay, so maybe let's say Einstein is just vibing in the new islands, in the new archipelago he's, he conquered, and he meets locals. And they they tell him of the story the story of a monk a hermit that was known and his mummy is somewhere so a hermit that has lived in the wilderness of Maldives for decades engaging in meditation prayer and other hey Dean oh and other asatru spiritual practices he was kind and always now this is historically accurate like come on guys <laughs> we conquered you less than a year ago how how can an old monk have our own religion <laughs> now nah, come on maybe 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 let's say Vikings came to the Maldives before Haystein and some of them used to live here and Haystein heard of a story that a guy actually followed his religion from be from before the time he even came to India and was really interested and that's the story you're reading right now so he was kind and always offered spiritual teachings for any who requested it, through, though he refused all offerings of food, drink and other or other luxuries. Now news arrives that he has passed away while meditating, and yet his corpse still sits upright and does not decay at all. Locals have begun to leave offerings before this mummy of sorts to receive blessings of the hermit's present. A most interesting but development, and you know there's an there's now a new culture that will be built around this and you know the 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 foolish peasants will now be dedicated to this sort of mummy thing instead of thinking about rebelling against me <laughs> they might think that it's a blessing that I, I conquered them now and many of them might just turn asatru i did not try to convert them because i just don't want to uh, my my son or my grandson will just end up uh, converting to the religion of the people here so yeah most interesting development so for years yeah of course it's the development growth will increase maybe it will attract pilgrims and and tourists <laughs> from all of the lands and even maybe Vikings will hear of that and as a as a way of coming to visit me at my court all up here so a long way from Europe to Southern India, hearing that one of their brethren has conquered a faraway land but very rich, they might pass there and pay their respects to this hermit. A new relaxing hobby. Every now and then, when I wander the countryside, I come across some wild songbirds. These little creatures flitter to and fro and perch on the branches of trees and on rocks as they sing their delightful songs. I found this a strangely enjoyable diversion whenever I encounter these creatures and hearing their singing helps me gain a sense a sense of peace. Now you know uh, our maybe cold hearted <laughs> lustful greedy and ambitious guy who is he's visibly brave and a warrior yeah, I think it's 
it's fitting that he might have some instances where he was he just wants to sit back and enjoy himself he wants to relax i really think that perhaps i should do this more regularly to relax i really think that he really wants to do this kind of stuff and this will give me a decision to just go to listen to wild songbirds and enjoy uh, it will decrease my stress it will increase my diplomacy yeah i think I think that this is really what Hastan will decide will decide to do. Because why not? He 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 went a long way. He was a young a uh, Viking that came, I don't know, maybe Denmark or Norway. He he was able to conquer a piece of land here in, in northern France. And he went a long way. He hopped between provinces. He he left runestones to confuse the shit of historians <laughs> all the way here. He considered staying in Pakistan, but just said that, oh, you know what? Yeah, maybe it's better I go to this place. I heard it's richer. And here he is now, the king of the of the Tamils and the and the Norse and the Indon ta Tamils as well. He is one of the uh, most powerful men on the Indian Peninsula. Indian Peninsula, they are just Indian Peninsula on the Indian subcontinent. He he already adopted many of the local customs. He's ready to stay here forever. And maybe he he might be missing his homeland and he he wants to relax now every now and then. He's fine. I don't know why he's been wounded all this time. I, I think I have a court position. I know I don't have one. But they're all terrible and I don't want to spend my money. I don't know why he doesn't get scarred, at least. Will re look really nice and cool on him. Anyway. I have a bunch of prisoners. It's 51, 13. Oh, she looking down bad. You know what, I'll move you to the house arrest. I am not a monster. But you won't be really of any use to me. You know what? Uh, as soon as you get of age... I will just give you as a concubine to my son. <laughs> yeah, I will just do that. Because that's the only thing you will be useful for. <sighs> when you really think about these things, you're just you're just laughing and thinking, but imagine how awful it would have been for the for people. For especially it was women. <laughs> for people who know me personally, they wouldn't expect me to speak like that. But it's really it's really sad that these things were com considered completely normal and people had to go through this like being forced into slavery especially sex slavery I imagine this man killed the father of that girl and now this this the same man will force her to become the sex slave of his own son that's really a really f fucked up thing to do <laughs> but I guess this is what the Vikings of the time will have done and we are completely immersed into this whole neural play. So let's just do it. Now, guys, I, again, I'm, I'm tired. I wanted to do a much smaller, much uh, shorter video. So as soon as I read this one, I really thought I will... Haystime will die at episode 1. Honestly. I think right now he just died at episode 5 or 6. The, this guy this guy just doesn't die. Come on. Come on, Haystime. I don't want to play as you anymore. I'm really interested in this character. This character has a lot of potential. He has also a lot of roleplay potential. Just, just die, my man. After that, after this episode, after this uh, event, I will just stop the episode for now. And now this really looks like a daily series. So make sure you enjoy it because there will be a, a certain point where I will just upload it um, once a week. So maybe on the weekends. Because I am at school right now, I'm just, I'm at high school. <sighs> Today a thought occurred to me. What if I could truly read minds? Hey Stein, I know you're ambitious, but aren't you going too far here? There are plenty of legends around the world, and even in Indo-Northern folklore. There is no Indo-Northern folklore. This culture was born four years ago, even less. <laughs> When was it born? Two years ago. 
how, how could there be a specific call? Uh, oh, come on, Haystein, come on. You, you're making stories up right now. About powerful persons with great spiritual or mental abilities. Who could read minds. What if I could do that too? What would I use such powers for? I could manipulate people for my personal gain. Do pranks and have a lot of fun at other expense. I don't think it will really do that. Help others find happiness as I will better know what ails them. Nah, this time is not that kind of guy. I would rather not have such power. It sounds dangerous. Or we will want to hear the people's inane thoughts. Heistine is the kind of guy that will want to manipulate that. He, he will use it to create the holy Indonorth Empire during his lifetime. <laughs> he will definitely do that. Yeah. Now, again, I'm really tired right now, guys. If there is anyone that is watching this, I, I'm not expecting much. I think the, the first video got like, what, 12 views <laughs> right now. It's much better than I expected because I thought maybe the, it will have 5 views after a whole week. So maybe some people will start watching it. Uh, let's call it a day anyway. Uh, I will upload tomorrow. Yeah. So bye bye. Bye bye guys. Uh, make sure to do the whatever bullshit the, subscribe, the YouTubers usually say. Yeah, like and subscribe and and really it helps me and the algorithm and whatever bullshit they they want to ah no what well, just maybe if you want to like it <laughs> I can't stop you from doing it <laughs> you know what just bye 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 guys bye um.